have Angela Hayes coming all the way from Colorado Springs. Nickname is the Hollywood. She fights out of Warrior Fitness Center. She's got an MMA record of seven and seven. Nine and one as a Mai Tai. She took this fight on a short notice, three weeks. But she says she came here to fight, she's ready. Yeah, she said conditioning won't be a factor. She says she's training full time and she's just done a, a submission grappling tournament. So she says she's in great shape. Not worried about the short notice fight. Obviously has a lot of experience with 14 amateur fights or MMA, sorry, 14 pro MMA fights and 10 Muay Thai fights. She's definitely got plenty of experience. I don't think the short notice is too big of a factor. She started fighting because she lost the bet. But obviously she likes it if she's fought this many times. She must have found some like in it. She says she's enjoyed snowboarding outside of fighting and thought, why not? Beck. You can hear the crowd super excited for Errol Beck. Got a lot of boxing fights here in view. She's uh, got an extensive amateur boxing career, but 3-0 as a pro boxer. Amateur MMA record of 3-3-1, three, three and one. and a pro MMA record of 0-1. Last time we seen Ariel fight, very aggressive, came out with her hands, just overran the girl. So it'll be interesting to see now that she's fighting somebody with, you know, an extensive background as well in striking, having 10 fights in Muay Thai, a, definitely a different style. I would expect Angela to have better kicks and Arrow to have a little more, a uh, little more uh, hand control, a little better getting in. We'll see if she can make that bridge to come over them kicks and counter them or get out of the way and still employ her boxing. I have actually held mitts for uh, Ariel Beck, and for 125, she hits pretty hard. She's a southpaw, which always poses some uh, complications for stand-up. You know, it's hard to find a good, true southpaw, which oftentimes makes it difficult, even for good strikers, to handle and deal with southpaws. Said she tried out for the Olympic team, and she lost out on the last chance qualifier. We asked her if she's nervous about the main event. She said, no, this is my home. Comfortable in there. 
says Angela, they're ready to Let's get see. this over with. Let's see, you got the kickboxer against the boxer. Interesting to see how this plays out. See Angela go right away for the inside. Or sorry, the outside kick because the inside being that they have opposite stances. They're throwing her own kick, coming in heavy. Coming after it. This is where uh, Ariel's good. I, I've seen her fight before. She brings the pressure. She's here to fight, and I think a lot of girls get kind of overwhelmed by that. Looks yeah. like Angela's looking to take it to the ground. Well, Angela may have a submission advantage. I think Colorado has a little better uh, submission game than Montana. And she's been doing about two years of jiu-jitsu training. Maybe a little ahead of Ariel in the submission department, so we'll see if Ariel starts walking that cage, see if she can get it back to standing. And she looked like she was doing pretty good. And just going for that guillotine choke. Got an arm in, Ariel does good defending. And he was pushing off, going back for that guillotine. Ariel needs to fight the hands there. She needs to get her left hand on top and push down. She's got her hand underneath right now. She also can reach her hand her right hand over the top of, of Errol Haynes' head and start to get some of that pressure off. Haynes goes to pull guard, feels like she had it. Errol doing a good job trying to get the side control. Not quite there in half guard. Errol looking for some elbows. Looks like Angela's got some pretty good cut. Looks like she got a lot of blood. Looks like Ariel was able to bust her up in that first exchange. Angela not one to let go of that of uh, Ariel's head. Angela's not closing her half guard. She's hooking that right leg of Ariel back. If Ariel could swim that leg off and step into side control, it would be easier for her to get her head out. Ariel's She's trying got, to stay busy with the yeah. elbows. She breaks free. You know, I think Ariel should stand up. You know, as you see here, she got sweep. I think Ariel is winning the stand up. I think when Ariel gets her next opportunity, she should she look to stand back up. She looked like the bigger puncher. Looked like she was able to do good. Angela did a good job keeping her pressure on her, looking to put her shoulder on her, getting her flattened out. And you see Angela looking to get the side control, trap that on. Good job by Ariel, standing back up. You know, this is where Ariel, I think, shines. She's, she's a tough girl, grew up on a farm, did some high school and college rodeo and she's just tough and she shows it in her fights she needs to get her head free and get it back to where her skills are at which is boxing and big punches Ariel doing some good stomps trying to get Angela backed up Angela looking for the knee she's really really committed to this guillotine Ariel gets her head free Ariel's next step needs to get her uh, back off the cage here the break free. You know, Angela already went for a trip on her, took her down. She's going for it again. Ariel needs to get her arms free and back away and start getting it and her punches going again. See, Angela already trying to climb up, looking at pulling guard possibly. Good job by uh, Ariel back. Frees herself back up and says, all right, let's do it again. Nice. Angela goes back to those kicks. Errol throws off some of her own. Errol's got a good left hand. It's heavy. You know, a lot of girls haven't felt that power. Good pop from Angela. She got an inside uh, kick to a, a jab there. Rocked uh, Errol Beck's head back. Ariel we moving forward. Looking to unleash on her. Did a good job recognizing the takedown. Was able to stop it. She just needs to get free. Go back to punches here. Keep that jab. Keep her back off her. Arrow does a good job. Good job turning against the cage. And Angela puts her right back against the cage. Both girls. Something we haven't seen tonight. Not a lot of people working themselves off that cage, getting that angle and putting their opponent on it. Errol able to get back off the cage again. Angela looking for that trip again. 
Angela's hanging on pretty tight. I don't think she liked the power of Ariel Beck. You know, she got a cut, got busted up. I think she got some, took some good punches. Ariel looks to be the physically stronger. And there we have the first round. Ariel Beck raises her hand. She's, she's confident she's got this. <laughs> I definitely think this opening, you know, the beginning of the round, they have to start standing again where Ariel's had her best luck. That was a good first round to start off these, this main event. Yeah, it was a very good. Here we see the trip. She got an outside trip, was able to throw Ariel down. She immediately goes to try to trap her arm. Here we see Ariel showing her physical strength here, pushing uh, Angela into the cage. And then Angela was able to do that, that step over, do a, to a little hip toss there. Ariel looked down at her hand there, did you? Yeah, I did. Her hand on that first exchange. You know, when I held mitts for Ariel, she did say that she had hurt her hand in the past. You know, she hits hard for a, a 125-pound girl, so that's a possibility. But I don't see it being a huge factor. As I've seen Ariel fight before, she's just tough. You know, growing up on a farm, rodeo, and you don't pay attention to pain as much as uh, a lot of other people. You just kind of go and get the job done. Second round starting. I'd like to see Ariel throw a little X kicks. She was kind of using her kicks to throw her combos up. But I think she should keep that distance and work those punches. Obviously, Ariel felt strong in the cage, pushed her up against it. Angela already got a hook in. She's pretty tall. Was able to wrap her leg around and get the hook. I feel like, oh, she got both hooks. Ariel's just got an arm around it. Angela's able to beat that arm. She'll get Angela's or Ariel's back. She drags her down. Now Ariel's in the guard of Angela. And she's already climbing up high. She's already looking to control them arms. She's already passed one, which puts her in a good position for triangle. Ariel needs to get her posture up, get her right arm out of there, get up high. She's doing good staying high here. She needs to put her hands down on Angela's hips, if she can control Angela's hips, keep them flat, it's hard for Angela to finish that triangle. <laughs> but at the same time, as we've seen before, even tonight, when you're in that triangle, it makes it easier to go after arm bars. Angela trying to control that head, working to get that triangle tighter, swimming for them arms. Ariel looking to step over, not a good choice as she gets mounted in a triangle really tough Angela looking to tee off she's got it locked up in a triangle Ariel looking to climb that cage this is a tough position to be in to get out of I mean Ariel's only option here is to really fight to try to squeeze out got double fist coming down from Angela Ariel needs to get her, her elbow out she needs to put pressure where Angela's weak point is on that triangle hold, and that's near her foot. Ariel needs to be turning on her, on her to her right side and bucking, trying to get that arm out. Put the pressure towards her leg. Angela looking to kind of do a modified uh, Americana Kimura lock here. Ariel gets her feet up, pulling her over. Arrow can reach up with her, her left hand and break that, and she's broken. Good job for Ariel. Good reversal there. Yeah, Ariel shows she's just tough. She's, she's willing to grind out, doesn't quit. Most Steps people over. just gave up there, and she just keeps on fighting through it. And now she's got top position again, and see if she can do something with it. As we see Ariel's, or, uh, Angela on bottom here is trapped in one of Ariel's arms with her legs. Keeps her posture down, keeps her from having a lot of options with her ground to pound. One thing Ariel can do from here is start kneeing that body. Knees, she can put a lot of power into those knees. Her body, Angela's body's wide open for knees. She's got her arm free now, and now she's looking to do some damage. In full side control, looking to control that arm. And there Ariel starts to tee off. Ariel's got plenty of time here, a minute and 35 seconds. Looking to control that position, just landing shots. 
You know, this is a position where that ref's telling her, you can see the ref calling to Angela, but defend yourself, you need to work. Ariel right now needs to quit worrying about her hands, just throw 10 punches, quick punches, and that ref's gonna stop it, you know? Just keep throwing them, at, uh, if Ariel keeps throwing it, I think the ref has no choice but to go ahead and call the fight. You can see Angela's not out of it, she's still trying to buck, trying to get that arm free. It's hard to get a lot of power in the position she's in, but those little punches are doing some damage. Absolutely, you know, they're adding up, they're uncomfortable, she's already got a good cut. Ariel looks pretty tired. You know, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, the ref wouldn't be out of call for her to stop that. Arrow needs to pick up that pace and get that stoppage. Ah, Angela raised know. her hand saying she's okay. But Ariel, I mean, these are unanswered. She has to intelligently defend herself, and right now she's not able to do that. You know, Ariel's landed blow after blow after blow. It's not an intelligent defense blocking well, punches seconds. with your face. Ariel needs to just fire away like that. There she goes. Go for yeah, the Ariel finish. just needs to pick it up, pick it up. Ariel looked up at the ramp. Ariel's exhausted. Oh. I think Ariel's a little frustrated. The fight didn't get stopped. You know, she needs to go back to her corner and clear that mind. Not worry about what the ref's doing. Worrying about her. You know, the interest in Angela's not taking a seat. Interesting to see if Angela's ready to go. She took a lot of blows to the face. Even though they weren't powerful, her eyes definitely swollen. She's got a cut. She took a lot of punches. Those little punches definitely add up. You know, at one point I counted almost 10 unanswered strikes here. That was a good finish for Ariel. I think it was probably enough to steal that round at the end. Absolutely, I think that's an easy round for Ariel for the judges to score. Um, you know, the first round was uh, a lot closer, even though Ariel got the most damage, I think, in that first round. She, she employed the cut, landed heavy shots. You know, I think that really puts Ariel two to one. But as we've seen, Angela's got some submissions in her game. She's got a lot of experience, so I don't think she's out of the fight. There's, she definitely can come out here and still get the submission. For sure, I think it's gonna be an interesting third round. They definitely see Angela's face from all those little punches. She's got some good swelling underneath her right eye. Ariel definitely looks winded, taking some deep breaths, both bouncing. You know, look for Ariel to throw that left hand. She's a southpaw, she's got a good, powerful, straight left. Both fighter kind of feeling it out, seeing where it's at. She's tough, she's staying in there. She's, she's definitely here to fight. She just landed a decent head kick. Not a lot of power on it, but those things add up. A little slower start out pace at this round. Both fighters are wearing down. For sure, I mean, they had both tough rounds. I mean, a high pace, a lot of positions, lots of transitions. Arrow was stuck in that triangle for a long time. Both. Both fighter in bad positions. Oh, good straight hand from Angela. Really rocked Ariel's head back. You know, Ariel looks pretty tired. She's not letting her hands go like she usually does, coming with that power. And it looks like Angela's starting to get her, get her in her space, letting her employ her Muay Thai technique. Clinch up here. Ariel's got double underhooks, a body lock here. See if Ariel's able to drag her to the ground. Angela going back for that head. She got an arm in guillotine. You see, she goes to try to get that right hand over Ariel's arm. And Angela starts looking for some knees there. She didn't get harder than that, Ariel. 
Angelo works that underhook. Ariel just kind of gave it up there. I definitely think Angela's got a little more gas in the tank right now. She's still fighting off the takedown. Shoots a double leg and gets it to the mat. Rams in the half guard. Ariel hanging onto that head. You see, Angela shows some grappling experience here. She immediately goes to peel that hand, those hands off. Something we haven't seen much tonight. You know, immediately the link right there is the hands. If she can peel those hands apart, she's going to get her head free. Work one thing at a time, then she can work to pass her legs. She got her head free, got a high half bar. Ariel needs to get off of being flat. She needs to either walk up that wall or start looking to regain her guard. Angela doing a good job keeping her weight on top of her, staying heavy. Angela loading a good shot to the body there. Good job, Ariel starts to move her hips there. That's what she needs to do. She needs to get on her hips. Can't be on her back flat. And the crowd really getting in, cheering Ariel. The whole crowd's up. Stopping, yelling for Ariel, trying to give her some motivation to, to get through this spot. Angela doing a good job trapping her arms. Angela's in a good position here. She's up high looking to rain down some spot. Again, she goes back to that, that tri uh, uh, sorry, guillotine. And Ariel backs up. Oh, a Angela's trying to wrap up. A, looks like an anaconda here. She's got the, the arm outside. Kind of going for a modified, almost anaconda. Hard to finish because the shoulder needs to cut off the other side of the blood, the other side of the neck. So it's a really tough thing to, to, to finish there without getting that arm, Ariel's right arm across her body. I don't see Ariel being in a lot of danger. She's not somebody that's going to tap from pressure, from it hurting. You're going to have to actually get a good lock to, to choke her out. But good job by Angela. She keeps it, uses it to sweep her. She's back in top position and half control. Or Both girls showing they're pretty exhausted from the first two rounds, being at a high pace. We've got about 30 seconds left. Angela's looking to crank on that neck. Ariel gets her head out. Ariel's gonna look to get her flipped over and try to steal this round. She's run out of time. Yeah, again, Ariel needs to get off from being flat. Angela covering up her mouth, you know, trying to work that leg free. And Ariel with one last attempt to buck, and she gets mounted. She's doing a good job keeping her posture down. Only a few seconds left in the round. Not a lot of time to work, and Ariel goes ahead and rolls her over. Her arm's at risk here, though. And there's the time. Good job. Good fight there. That was a good fight. Question Ariel's is, up. did Ariel do enough? You I know, think she did. I think Ariel won the first two rounds. I definitely think Angela won that third round. But yep. the rounds are scored here, so I think that's Angela or Ariel, two to one. We're giving her the fight. Good performance, though. Definitely seen a higher level there. Definitely show that they were at a higher pro level. You know, the girls brought it tonight. They did a good job representing the main event. Came out, showed good striking, good wrestling, good G2, good overall game. It's Tough the fight for to both of them. The decision tonight. Yeah, very first decision of the night, huh? Made the judges work on the final main event. Pretty good night of fights tonight. They're all action packed. Yeah, a lot of good fights. We'll have to see if the judges were falling asleep. You never know what the judges are going to do. Their first fight. There's Angela's best punch of the fight. She landed a good straight right hand on Ariel in the third round. You see Angela, see her experience paying off here. She's got a big swollen eye, a cut.
definitely earned that one.